Hey guys, how's it going? Sam here with Lunch Hacks for You. So with school starting, I figured it's the perfect time to go over our lunch slash snack system. But we don't have a huge budget. I just wanted to show you guys how we do our school lunches and what system we have that makes it run smoothly so my kids can actually do their own lunches. I don't have to prepare their lunches and they can do their own lunches in like 60 seconds. So let's go. So I have five tips that will help you when preparing for your lunches, getting them ready, and will keep you on a budget. So the first tip is to buy your snacks in bulk or when they are on sale. That way you know that you're getting good price. You can get the individual candies and stuff, or the individual fruit snacks and those kind of things and fruit cups, but they are super expensive per ounce as opposed to what you get when you just buy a big bulk thing and then put it in baggies. We buy pretzels in bulk and then put them in the baggies, cheese puffs, goldfish crackers, cookies. Sometimes when these are on sale, I will buy these when they're like a dollar or 50 cents a box because that's cost effective. And then we separate them into portion size so that kids can just grab those. This way, you're not spending a lot, but you're getting a lot. I think I did 60 bags of this stuff for like $3. Yeah, so that's 60 lunches for $3. Also, when you put them in those bags, it's giving them a portion size so they're not just in the cupboard, they pull them out and they eat like a whole bag without even knowing it. So it helps with snacking. We use these bins for snacks and for lunches. And they're just a grab and go and then they're easy to throw if we go on a road trip or we're going somewhere or soccer games or whatever. We can just pull a couple things out and then take them with us and not have to worry about it. Second tip is make your own treats and food. So with your treats, I showed you in there, there's cookies that I've made. Sometimes I'll make brownies and put some in out for everybody to eat and take some and put them in individual bags and put them in the snack bin. That way you're spending a lot less than buying those individual ones because those things are expensive. Now, tip number three, the big item of your lunch, your sandwiches. I get two loaves of bread at the beginning of the week. I sit down when the kids are at school and make all of those sandwiches and put them in bags. Then you put them in the freezer so that the kids can pull them out when they're ready to put them in their lunches for their lunchbox. They keep the lunches cool so they're good to go for the day. The snack drawer actually has half sandwiches in it so that when the kids are hungry or want a snack, that's something that they can do. They don't need a full sandwich when they're just needing a snack, but a half sandwich will fill them up then they won't fill up on other junk. Also, you don't have to be stuck with PB&J. You can also do this with your meat sandwiches. Just leave your mayo off of them. So tip number four, if you do go to this system, you're like, how do I keep my kids out of eating all of this all day long? Tip for this is set limits and expectations for your kids. My kids, I know if I just let them, they would eat all of it. It would all be gone in like two days. So what we have done is they know that for their lunches, they get to take one from one of the, these and one treat and then from the big, the main snack drawer, they get to choose two things. So we've got vegetables in here, we've got fruit, we've got the go-gurt. They can take two of those because those are the more, more healthy things that are gonna fill them up and stay with them. And this drawer, besides the go-gurt, we have yogurt in the fridge. If they want yogurt, then they have to get it in the fridge and put it in a bowl when they're having a snack because it's cheaper for that way and they don't need to just take all of the go-gurts. But the sandwiches and the fruit, they have free reign of when snack time is, just regularly. And that's the other limit. So my kids aren't allowed to have snacks all day long. So 
If it is an hour before dinner or an hour before a meal, they're not allowed to have any snacks because I want them hungry for their meal. And then the rest of the time, they need to ask if they can have a snack. And they always start with the drawer with the healthy things and then we'll talk about having pretzels or something like that. Another bin that has some breakfast stuff, some hot chocolate, oatmeal, and popcorn, which I don't really care when they get into that stuff. Um, and they can have that stuff kind of whenever. It's kind of like the fruit and veggie drawer. But then they know the expectation. They know what they can have. They know their limits. And that way your food isn't completely gone in like two days. And finally, tip number five. This has to do with getting the lunches done fast. So every day when my kids come home from school, they take their lunch boxes out, they put them on the table, they empty out all of the garbage, and they put them underneath the sink. That way they know exactly where they are. We don't have to go and try and find a lost lunch box. Um, it's always there, it's in the morning. After they're done with their breakfast, they just pull it out from under the sink, put it on the table, grab their food, put it in, and put it in their backpack. Then their backpack goes in front of the door so it's ready to go when they are in the morning. They can pack their own lunch in like 60 seconds and then the other part takes maybe another minute. So we're done with lunches in like two to three minutes every morning and I don't have to do anything. They know what they need. They know what they get. They go and choose it. They have a sense of self because they get to choose what's in their lunch and I don't have to worry about it. So I know that they're getting the food that they need, they're getting the nutrition that they need, and they're getting something that they like, and I don't have to do anything. I'm sure there are thousands of other ways to do lunches, and I know there are moms out there that make amazing, like beautiful, gorgeous home lunches for their kids. I just don't have time for that, and when baby's coming, I want my life as simplified as possible. So this is what we do. If you have any tips or tricks that you use, I'd love to hear them if you'd put them down in the comments section. And I will reply, I reply to all my comments. So if you have any ideas, I would love to hear them. Also, if you like this video, please like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of our future content. We would love to have you at our channel. Thanks for stopping by Anderson Lane. We'll see you again next time, bye.